Hello viewers, welcome to the show. Lamar Podgorski here reporting live in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm here with Peter Chi. Peter Chi was one of the Japanese Canadian interns in the Second World War, and he's going to give us some insight on what it was like there. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you for having me. It's great for you to be here, so let's get straight in into the questions. You were contained in Greenwood during the war. Yes, I was. Why were you there? Well, during the Second World War, the Imperial Japanese were one of the enemies of the Allies. So when they bombed Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, us Japanese Canadians were assumed to be enemies too. Men aged 18 to 45 were forced to leave their homes and go to work camps. Later well, in the year, women and children uh -huh. were sent. Well, what happened to your property and possessions? The Canadian government said we could only bring a certain number of possessions mm -hmm. to the camps. Adults could only have 150 pounds of items, and kids could only have 75. They told us that the items we left behind would be kept safe for us in our homes. They didn't stay true to this, though. They auctioned both our possessions and mm -hmm. property cheaply yep. to one interned people. That's terrible. What about family? Did you have any? Did you guys stay together? I was just married at the time. My wife, Aya, was sent to a beef farm. Originally, we were split up, but the war caused farmers to be short on men. So the government gave us an option. We could work at rogue camps or go to beef farms to work and be with our families. I chose the latter. I see. Well, was it, how was it at camp? How were the living conditions? Well, the camps themselves didn't seem all that bad. At first, there wasn't any barbed wire fencing or anything, and we could leave during the day, but we had to live in the camps. We were put into very small houses, which we had to share with other families. We didn't have any running water, heat, or electricity, not to mention the houses were very dirty. Mm -hmm. So you were treated very poorly? Yes, very. Well, Pierre, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for coming in and educating us on this very touchy issue. I know it must have been a hard and tough time to talk with you before. No, it's okay. People need to know about these things. Alright, listeners, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you learned something new today in our country. And now, the wheels. In the town where I was born Lived a man who sailed to sea And he told us of his life in the land of submarines